Let's go over the Twitter strategy. Let's go over the funnel strategy that will make myself personally multiple six figures this year and my students multiple six figures this year in 2024. And I'll go through every single step individually and I'll tell you the process on exactly what you need to do and how you can implement it. So grab a notepad, take notes, pause the video, stop, go back where you need to. Just make sure you're taking notes and you actually follow these steps. And to be honest, if you follow through this whole process with me, you're a genuine savage, you're a killer, you're ready to actually start this process and start building an online business yourself, okay? So let's start in the very beginning. You're going to begin with a social media platform of your choice, okay? For me, it was Twitter. To be honest, the easiest one to do it on. From my experience, I've mastered that, okay? So you can do Twitter. Instagram is probably the, one of the ones there as well, and YouTube. They're probably the top three, to be honest. Um, so let's start with Twitter, okay? Now, from there, you need an optimized profile. And what does that look like? An optimized profile is, firstly, a profile picture, a bio, a banner, thread, and that's about it, okay? So let's go through these individually, right? An optimized profile for any platform by the way profile picture is you with a clean clear direct background standing there professionally and have that snapshot of your head right a little cheat code for you you can use remove.bg to remove the background then insert that image that you download from there into canva and you can put whatever colored background you want on your profile picture to stand out even more in the feed Okay, so I could put the blue here, which is my branding in the background of my profile picture to stand out even more if I wanted to do so. Okay, so that's an option there you have for profile picture. When it comes to, let's go to your banner. Your banner should explain exactly what you provide. Uh, so for me, it was for a long time, high converting landing pages. That's what it said, high converting landing pages for dig digital entrepreneurs. Um, right now it's, the number one place to start or learn freelancing right um, and from there you need actually a, a little quick trick with this with the banner is go to canva.com type in twitter banner and you'll get loads of free templates and you can edit and change it to your own liking okay from there a bio this bio should again tell uh, people exactly what you do it should say okay what you've achieved what you're hoping to achieve, okay? So for me, it could be uh, coach 60 plus students in 2023 um, to make multiple six figures, right? Just something like that. Uh, get started here, and then you have a link to your landing page, okay? And I'll get into a landing page formula in another video and teach you how to go through that process. Um, but for now, you can either put a landing page there or a Calendly book a call link, right? You need somewhere where people can click on your profile, see what you offer, see what you do, and then there's a place for them to actually be able to book a call and go ahead from there and work with you and speak to you, okay? So next up is a pinned thread. This will essentially show competence. Um, it show, it's essentially a short course of what you provide or else a social proof and showing how you helped a client succeed. For me, I have, um, it's how I helped my student Osh uh, make a ridiculous amount of money. He made, Osh actually made uh, about 18K in about 65 days, started from zero. He joined me with five followers. He was a bartender um, and turned into a, a designer and he made a hell of a lot of money, right? Uh, and that was because of all of this and everything I'm going through with you today, okay? So with your pin thread, again, Talk about the processes of what you do to fulfill for clients. If it's a landing page, talk about the process of how to get a highly optimized and a high converting landing page. Teach people. That's what you should do. Teach people. If you teach people enough, 
Business owners will see that you're the competent person giving other people advice. Plus, people will learn from you and you can eventually even sell information to them. Right. Maybe you could sell a course on landing pages or ads, whatever you provide, whatever service you provide. And that's part of the process as well as picking a skill. Personally, I picked landing pages to provide as a service. Yeah, it's quite easy to learn. Uh, you can learn it in like a matter of weeks, uh, get a client within a couple of months and change your life around in three to six months right of hard work. Um, so from there, you want to post at least three times a day. Three X post. Right. And this can be for Instagram, let's say it could be stories. It could be two stories and then a one one reel. OK, uh, for Twitter, this could be one thread, uh, one video and one just quick tip, you know, quick actionable tip, um, you know, landing page tip, something like that. OK, uh, what a headline is or what a what a bold claim headline should look like, etc. OK, lots of different examples there. After you post all these, at least two of them should have a book a call link underneath the post. So you'll comment underneath these posts and have a book a call link or a call to action. Tell people where they need to go. Do, you, do they need to go to your bio to find your Calendly link or your landing page? Can they just book a call from the comment section? Tell them the direction you want them to go and make sure you're telling people to follow you as well. Because people will actually read your stuff and think, damn, that's interesting. And then just not follow you, subscribe to you, anything. OK, so tell people to follow, subscribe and then uh, book a call to talk with you about your services if they have interest in that. OK, now from there. In these posts as well, you can do posts and set up a newsletter. The newsletter. Let me write that down. Newsletter. Right. Newsletter will give you a way to take your followers off the platform and actually own those followers, those emails, essentially. OK, so from there, you have the opportunity to send emails every week, teach people in more detail, in more depth. You'll build more trust. There are different sequences that you can set up to actually sell to people at the end of that sequence. A matter of weeks is all it takes to do that and actually close clients. OK. Uh, so these are different ways where you can get booked calls. Think about it now. We've already spoken about you can get booked calls from your bio because your landing page or Calendly is going to be there. You can be get booked calls from your posts because you're going to tell people under it, book a call. Or you can now get booked calls through your newsletter. OK, and I'll make another video detailing newsletters in detail um, and how to set them up and so on. But that's the process. OK, now when they do book a call, let's say they go from here, here, and here, and it all combines to book a call. Booked call. This is where you're winning, okay? Now, this is the point you want to get to, but it's a difficult process, right? So to even get these booked calls after people click on your link to book the call or landing page, you need to convert them and make them want your service. So you need to qualify them. OK, you need to look busy, respect your time. Don't have 12 hours a day open where people can book a call just because you're awake. Like, respect your time, maybe one or two hours a day. Take the weekends off. Have it random times throughout the day. Have it random days that you're available. Look busy. I went on to a, an account a long time ago, maybe six months ago, and they had boasted about how they had so many booked calls. I went on to their Calendly link and there was all it was was available slots to book. So to me, I knew straight away they were lying. <laughs> That's the way it was. They were boasting something they didn't need to boast. Right. If they were honest, you know, they could have done better and uh, changed their process strategically. OK, that would have worked way, way better. So, again, just to recap there, make sure that you look busy. OK, don't fake it. Don't lie about it. Just adapt your times that you're available and respect yourself okay that's really important now when you do get book calls you'll have either no show they'll cancel they'll show and you either close or 
you fail. Okay, so no show, cancel, they show and you close or you fail, right? So if they no show, send them an email saying, was looking forward to speaking to you. You know, can we reschedule? That's it. Okay, if they don't reply, leave them be. If they cancel, I would ask them, just notice you cancelled. Do you want to reschedule? Perfect. If they want to reschedule, send them a link. If not, just leave them be. Okay. If they show and you close them, your goal is to close these people on the call, get paid on the call. That's important if you can do so. It's a difficult thing to do. It's an awkward question to ask, especially in the beginning. You will get used to it. However, it'll never fully feel comfortable. Okay. It's a difficult process. Um, and your other option then is that you don't close on the call and you're left in the dry wondering what did you do wrong will they close after will they pay tomorrow next week so on uh, you need a follow-up sequence for these people that don't close on the call because the money is in the follow-ups trust me from experience from myself and students the money is in the follow-ups from that booked call if you follow up with a loom video record yourself for one minute talking through the process of how you helped another client win and say look i'm only taking on two more people this month let's get in let's get you started we can begin monday or tomorrow whatever it is okay so that's something you need to do if people don't close and don't pay you on the call but if they're happy with what you're offering try and get them to pay on call hey uh look you're happy with the price right um can we get this started now send your email in the chat and i'll send you the invoice and i can get you onboarded straight away and if they say, okay, I'll pay tomorrow, I'll, I'll just need to think about it. Okay, that's when you follow this no-show sequence, this no-show follow, or the, the no-close follow-up. But if they pay on the call, happy days, you get them onboarded within 24 hours. And that's another point that's very important. 24 hour to onboard. And this leads to referrals. Right, if I've spelt that right. <laughs> so you can see here, there's so many points where you can earn money. You can get book calls from the bio, the post, the newsletter. From here, you can close so many deals. Your, your closing rate should be about 20 to 30%. If it's less than that, you need to get some sales training, genuinely, or get people to review your sales calls, record them and get people to review them. This is important. I do this for a lot of my students. I review their sales calls when they record them and they end up improving in their conversion rate of sales calls goes through the roof, right? They end up closing a lot of deals, 50% plus in many cases. Um, you have 24 hours to onboard someone when they do pay, right? Do not wait less than this. Unless you're sending them a booking link where they can book whenever they want to talk over the onboarding process and all this, then they can, you know, let them book if they want to book 24, 72 hours in advance, that's fine. Uh, but you need to make sure you send them all the information that you possibly can within that 24 hours. This process alone will lead you to referrals. Right. Obviously, fulfilling a good job will lead you to referrals. But if the onboarding process is smooth and they actually enjoy working with you, referrals come in massively. This was a big key point for me that ended up scaling my business massively, my landing page agency business. Um, and it was because of the onboarding process. He said to me it was so smooth and worked so well um, and seamless that he said he wanted to work more with me and actually refer other busy entrepreneurs and big business owners, seven, eight, nine figure business owners to me. And I've worked with many of them, right? So it's crazy how important referrals is. I have another video about that, uh, that speaks about that in detail. Um, but this is the process, okay? This is the process that will get you booked calls. Now, if you're not getting paid in the beginning, work for free. Free work, and I want this to be loud and clear it is hard to get paid if you do not have proof that you're worth it okay it is very difficult to get paid if you do not have proof that you're worth it so when you reach out to clients or prospects in the beginning tell them straight away you're willing to work for free in exchange for a testimonial that is your goal 
you're not valued when you have no social proof, you have no testimonials, your time is not worth anything. And it might sound rude or bad, but it's the, it's the truth. And someone needs to tell you that. Okay, work for free. I did maybe three or four landing pages in the beginning for free. And I got the testimonials and then people started assuming that I charged top dollar. So you need to do the same. Think about this. Do the same. Provide free value to people. Get the testimonials. Get the social proof. Get the credibility. You now have case studies that you can then show to other prospects that book a call through this funnel system. Okay, so work on this in 2024. We're still in the beginning. It's still February. You've still not lost. You still have an opportunity. Okay, now if you want to accelerate that progress or that process and actually work with me and alongside my students and my community of people that I'm bringing up, we're closing in on 70 people now, but we're actually only bringing on what? One, two, three, three left, three slots left this month in February. Okay. And they will sell out quickly, okay? Because I want to limit the slots available because I want to be able to put in enough time and effort and make sure everyone is taken care of and catered for, okay? So three slots left in February. Check the description if you want to just even see what it's about. There's no pressure. Just see what it's about. Book a call with me and I'll speak to you personally and we'll go from there. So this is the process. You can do this for free as well. You don't need to pay anyone or do anything like that. You can do this all for free. If you're willing to put in the work but having accountability that process a game plan and action plan uh, is very important so hope you got some value from this i'll see you in the next video thank you very much